going on guys? Bangaligana here coming back at you with another video today. Starting my Atlanta Braves franchise. If you couldn't figure it out from the intro, it's going to be tough for you. You're operating at a below average level, but that's fair. You know, some people are going to be like that. We're doing the Atlanta Braves. As you can see, their affiliates are uh, the Gwinnett Stripers in AAA and the Mississippi Braves down in AA. We will be using them. Contract goal is to reach the postseason, so I don't know how long the contract is. And this is my first time doing a franchise series. Uh, and our yearly goal is finish over 500. What do I want to allow? Fantasy draft off. Allow legend free agents off. CPU roster control. Um, off. CPU trading on. Fair. Ignore budgets off. Four trades off. Okay. Um, I think that should be good. Looks okay. Um, and I don't think I'm going to auto-manage anything. We're just going to keep it as is. What I do want to see, though, is uh, we're going to skip spring training. I don't really care for it. We're going to where we are basically in real life. Uh, and we want to check out the team first. So up here we have a... Uh, all right, I keep seeing players called up. That's fine. This is our collection of guys. we got Freddie Freeman, Ender Enciarte, Kurt Suzuki, Ozzy Albies, Brandon McCarthy, Rodas Vizcaino. Uh, Julio Tehran, Peter Moylan, Nick Marcakis, Dansby Swanson, Tyler Flowers, Sean Newcomb, Sam Freeman. Of course, Ronald Acuna. His face looks so weird in this game. I'm using the OSFM rosters, uh, which is Operation Sports Franchise Mode, I believe. Uh, and these are... He looks he looks odd. we got Mike fulton Grant Dayton, Charlie Culberson, Chase Whitley, Rex Brothers, Jose Ramirez, but not the good one. And of course, like washed Anibal Sanchez. The guys I'm going to focus on: we got Luis Gohara, fireballing, uh, starting pitcher, top prospect. We got Mike Soroka, another pitcher, Kyle Wright, another starting pitcher. All these guys have a potential. Of course, focusing on Ronald Acuna, the eventual star center fielder for us. I know he's a left fielder because we have Ender and Ciarte. Um, stuff will change. Here's what I'm going to say: uh, this series, I will say. It's not going to be completely realistic. We have a lot of top 50 prospects. Holy. Um, what's going to happen here is uh, a lot of roster moves, potentially. I'm going to be trading for players I want to try out on the team. I'm going to be trading for prospects and trading away prospects. It's going to be like an amped up franchise. It's not going to be like a rebuild where anything goes uh, like I would do in Madden or something like that. But guys like Ender and Ciarte, I might look to trade. I know he's a uh, gold glove center fielder. Maybe I don't want him. He is 27. He's a good player. Uh, but maybe I just want someone a little bit different out there in center field. Uh, maybe I want Ronald Cunha to be my star center fielder eventually when we call him up, whenever that would be. And he's a really good defender. He's got decent hitting stats as well. I might want to use him for the trade value. I might want to trade Kurt Suzuki. or I think I want to hold on to Ozzy Albies. He's a decent player. Brandon McCarthy is on the trade block. I could pretty much trade anybody except for Freddie Freeman. I don't really feel like trading him. He's going to be the uh, star of this team, if you will. But uh, other than that, I think I think that's it for the team. Let me check the lineup. Uh, for right now, I don't know if I like four lefties all hitting in a row. I don't know if I love that. I'd rather have Dansby Swanson up there. Uh, like my, my dream lineup would probably be Ozzy Albies at the two, Freddie Freeman. And then right now, Kurt Suzuki, Dansby Swanson at the five, and then Marcakis, Adams, Camargo. I think that's what it might be. Also, like there's no DH. It's the National League, so I don't I don't really know what we're doing with that. Get Charlie Culberson off the bench. Might want to bring him in instead of Camargo. Uh, he was good for the Dodgers. Hitting stats are fairly similar. I don't really want to work out too much of the roster. Um, rotation will be Brandon McCarthy, Julio Tehran, Sean Newcomb, Newcomb Mike fulton and Anibal Sanchez. That's really bad. I'm going to be calling up prospects pretty soon because I'd way rather have uh, Gohara than Sanchez, who's a 70 overall at 34 or so and just totally not good anymore at all. So we will be bringing players up. I will be training, uh, trading for players. I can tell you that. And as far as the actual franchise goes, I'm going to be playing a couple games per month, I think. I'm going to make this franchise go somewhat quickly, 
as far as each season goes. There are a number of months here. Um, March, I'll play the Phillies probably once. And then if we consider two games a month, maybe, uh, that's April, May, June, July, August, September, and maybe a game in October. So we could do, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 or 12 games a season could be good. So that's like 12 episodes in a season. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll do like 15 or something. Um, but what I'll do is, this is my first year really playing franchise. I think I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to add Ender Enciarte. I'm going to add Freddie Freeman. I'm curious to see um, what I can get for some of these players. How old is Brendan McCarthy? 34? Yeah. Let's go ahead and put him on. I'll put Dansby Swanson as well. Um, and then I can go ahead and update my trade block. Is that how this works? New message in my inbox. Player called up, things like that. How do I get down there? Who am I? What am I looking for? I'm looking for a shortstop, potentially. I'm looking for an outfielder. I just, I'll just do everything. I'm looking. Oh, I can only do five things. Okay. Uh, looking for a shortstop. Looking for a center fielder. I know I have endurance Arte. I'm kind of looking to trade him. Third base is fine. I'm looking for. A starting pitcher and a closer. That's what I'm looking for. I think I'm good. So we can go ahead and back out of that maybe. And that should be my trade block. Did it set? I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no idea. I think that should probably set. And we'll go ahead and maybe simulate a day or so. I don't know what we're going to do in this first episode. I'm going to sim through the date. And um, let's see. Player search. No, I don't want to delete it. But these are just all like. No, I don't. I don't want that. Stop talking. No, stop talking. Stop talking. All right, that's how we stop him from talking. All right, we're fine. Um, let's look at acquisitions, contracts, coaches' contracts. Don't really care much. Um, let's look at pending. No offers. I don't really know where to see offers. If you guys know anything about the way this game works, let me know. Um, I'm interested in learning. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but those are players on my trade block. I definitely want that to be manual. What is, what is it right now? Hold on. Let me look at free agents. Henderson Alvarez wouldn't be terrible. Trevor blows them all out of the pen could be nice. Um... I want it to be so it's not on auto. So would I square that up and make that done manual right now? Or is it to go back to manual? I would do that. I'm just going to go ahead and go manual for everything. Um, and uh, view my trading block. So do I have any offers for these guys? I don't, I don't think so. Let me look to make a trade though. I'll get back to you guys if I have something going. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, it's kind of a wild first trade. I'm trading Ian Anderson. He's 19 years old with A potential. So that seems pretty nice. Throws decently hard at 87 below. Um, but we have a ton of starting pitchers inside the top 50 with A potential. You look at Kobe, Al Kobe Allard. You look at uh, Kyle Wright, Mike Soroka, Luis Gohara. We already have some decent starting pitchers in there and we have a ton uh, in development, and I'd rather trade for a superstar player than have those. I'm also trading Dansby Swanson. He's only 24. I don't really like him. I think he needs a fresh uh, start. I know the Braves traded for him. He hasn't really worked into anything amazing. I know he still has A potential. I don't want him. I just don't. I also, I think Ender Enciarte is a really good player. I would rather have Carlos Correa. He's only 23. He's an 87 overall, and I think the future of this Atlanta Braves franchise, I know this is going to make some Braves fans mad. Uh, I don't care. We're doing this. We have Carlos Correa. And he looks weird as an Atlanta Brave, let me tell you. But uh, yeah, he's going to be the star of this franchise. Also have Freddie Freeman. Now we have a really good uh, player to go along with him. Down to an 84 overall somehow. I don't know how that works. But I'm very happy to make that trade. I really am. Um, I know Enderon Ciarte is a really good player. I just wanted to go a different direction. And I'm probably still not done with trades. I got some players to move. All right, and this is kind of another weird trade. I'm trading Aaron Blair, 25 years old, B potential. 
Doesn't really throw all that hard. I'm also trading a Rotus Vizcaino. Um, or Vizcano. He's a decent reliever out of the pen. He certainly is. 27 years old. Uh, 80 overall. He's basically operating as my closer. Fireballer. 99 velo. 99 break on that slider. He's a decent player for sure. Uh, I'm just trying to overhaul this team a little bit to, you know, really fit more of the dimensions of the team that I want. And by doing so, I understand that I do need to trade some value. So I'm also trading another uh, top pitcher in my rotation, or eventual rotation potentially. In Colby Aller, has no velo, so I'm not particularly interested in him. His per nines are decent. Uh, I know he's a potential, only 20 years old. Uh, I would rather just go a different direction. So Colby Allard is the final piece of the trade that's making this happen. And I'm getting Vlad Guerrero Jr. You've seen Chipper Jones. All right. This is our new Chipper Jones. Vlad Guerrero Jr. One of the top prospects in the Blue Jays organization, if not the top prospect. They also have Bo Bichette, who's a beast. Um, who you can see right here, almost. There's Bo Bichette. Absolute monster. But I am going after Vlad Guerrero Jr. I'm adding him to the team, and we are going ahead and making that happen. He is added into our uh, our farm system. Really awesome to have him. He's already a sick hitter, and he's 19 years old. Only going to improve in those other departments. Uh, we're just trying to stockpile for the future. We're not going to play too many games this season. I said 15, but maybe the first season is going to go a bit quicker. Um... And I'm just going to continue to make some trades to kind of make this team fit uh, more of the direction that I want. So Kurt Suzuki could go. I'm still trying to make some moves. So I'm going to go ahead and sign uh, Trevor Rosenthal. I'm going to be looking to, you know, not necessarily uh, for trade bait, if you will. But some of these players could definitely end up being traded. Just trying to add some more depth to not only our farm system, um, but in general. Because, you know, look at Manny Baez here. Only 22 years old. Decent potential. We're going to go ahead and sign him, maybe. Uh, well, definitely. We just did. And, uh, you know, I would like to get some, some younger players that we could potentially move, potentially develop. Not a lot of young free agents, though. Tommy Joseph actually isn't terrible. He has really good hitting stats. Could be a great bench bat. Uh, my roster is full, though. Might look to make some more trades. And I know I am giving up value here. Um, it's just, I'm, I've come to grips. I'm okay with doing it. I want to rebuild this team the way, you know, I see fit. We're going to trade Kurt Suzuki, Mike Soroka, and Mike Fulton, or excuse me, Fulton Nevich, Fulton I don't, I don't know how you say his name. Um, but Mike Soroka, decent player in my, uh, in my farm system. He's a top 50 prospect and I'm trading him, uh, for one of two players. I haven't made my mind up yet. I'm in between two players. In between Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. There we go. There we go. And Michael Kopech. Michael Kopech throws heat. There's a video of him out there throwing like 110 off a of crow hop, which is wild. He could be my franchise pitcher, starting pitcher, my ace. Or we could go after another bat and get Eloy Jimenez, work on that outfield. So then we could potentially have... We could even have Vlad Guerrero Jr. out there, but he's most likely my third baseman. Um, we would have Luis Gohara as one. We'd have um, potentially Julio Tehran, Sean Newcomb, or Newcomb. I don't remember how to say his name. Um, Kyle Wright, Austin Riley could be traded away, but Kyle Wright... And then I don't have much. So I am leaning towards potentially Michael Kopech. I haven't decided. Um, because with Eloy Jimenez, I can get more value. I can, you know, get Casey Gillespie as well. Um, and that wouldn't be bad. 25-year-old uh, first baseman, B potential. And Jose Rondon, can't get him. I get Zach Birdie, though. Really pitcher out of the pen. Throws for a decent velocity. Only 23 years old. Um, I think what I'm going to do is grab Eloy Jimenez and Zach Birdie um, and focus on pitcher later because pitcher is extremely important. I get that. I'm going to focus on building a team of bats. I think Eloy Jimenez is going to help that out. And we're also going to get Zach Birdie out of the pen. Good per nines already. Only 23 years old. 
Um, thirst for good velocity. I like this deal. Can I even get somebody else? Let's see if I can get any more value. Can I get Glaspy? No, but it's close. Zach Collins, catcher? No. Carson Fulmer? Absolutely not. Adam Angle? I'm going to see like if I can get any more value. Because that would be valuable. I want... Well, obviously, that's redundant. I want B potential. Tyler Danish? I don't think I can get B potential. I think I'm pretty much out of options. Um, can I get anybody? Eddie Alvarez? Not exactly the El Eddie Alvarez I know in MMA. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and complete this. I'm going to get just one more player, maybe. It keeps pushing the scales, like whoever I go after. We're just going to do this trade. Eloy Jimenez and Zach Birdie are going to be the newest Atlanta Braves. Trading Kurt Suzuki, Mike Soroka, and Mike Fultonevich, we're going to call them. And uh, that trade is accepted. So we're kind of deconstructing this team a little bit, and we're getting younger. Trading away some prospects, I get it. But when we have Ozzy Albies and Carlos Correa, fantastic middle infield. You got Freddie Freeman at first base. And now we have a guy like Vlad Guerrero Jr., we have Ronald Acuna coming up. We have uh, now the addition of Eloy Jimenez in there. We've got a really good group of up-and-coming players, and I don't think I'm necessarily done yet. Players I would still like to potentially trade. Uh, I don't think I can trade Henderson Alvarez if we just sign him. I would like to trade maybe Julio Tehran for some value. I'd like to trade Brandon McCarthy. So we're kind of deconstructing this rotation if we can even trade that. That's a lot of cap. Uh, or not necessarily cap. That's a lot of total salary. Um, and I would like to trade maybe... Tyler Flowers is my starting catcher, so I can't trade him. I would like to trade maybe... Maybe... Uh, who would have some value here? Who actually plays? Let me see here. I would trade... Peter Moreland is just so old. Just signed Tony Zich. Uh, we just signed Manny Baez. Who can I even trade here? I want someone... Charlie Culberson. Actually, you know what? Austin Riley's going to have some value. Does he have a ton more? No, nah, we're actually going to keep him. We're going to trade Car uh, Charlie Culberson, and we'll see if we can go in, get some, get another like good prospect or something like that, maybe a pitcher. All right, this is kind of a weird one. I'm trading Julio Tehran, Brandon McCarthy, and Austin Riley. Had to give up a top 50. I'm going after Fernando Tatis Jr., one of the top prospects in the MLB in the Padres organization. He looks really well-rounded already, and he's only 19 years old. I know he's a shortstop, and we have Carlos Correa. Could be a second baseman. I have Ozzy Albies. Could be a third baseman. I have Vlad Guerrero Jr. So, kind of in a weird spot trading for Fernando Tatis. He's going to be my uh, in my farm system for a little while at least. Um, but he looks really, really solid. I could potentially move Vlad Guerrero Jr. to the outfield, play right field like his, like a dear old daddy. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, but I think we did get better with that trade. Still trying to trade Charlie Culberson. I'm okay with being bad this year. I'm perfectly comfortable with that. I'm trying to be really sick for the future. That's my goal right now. I would even trade Tyler Flowers, but I don't think he'd have too much interest. I'm trying to trade Peter Morley. He's not going to have any interest. And then I have no more pitchers to trade. I've, you guys probably see pretty annoyed, maybe, that I've gone through so many of our pitchers. It is what it is. I, You know, I'm okay with making sacrifices. Um, and that's fine. We don't really need middle infielders, so I can I can trade some of my top potential middle infielders. Maybe Camargo. It's going to be hard to package two third basemen together, maybe. Demerite. Demerite. Can move on from him. Who has more value, him or Cologne? Like I said, it's about equal. And then maybe we'll look in the outfield where it's getting kind of crowded as well. Peter Burgos could be traded. Don't really need Ezekiel Carrera. Definitely don't want Nick Marcakis, but he's not going to have any value. Um, could try to make this happen. See if I can get anybody else. I'll look into it. All right, so pretty much this is the new roster. Um, we have downgraded at several spots, I am aware. Uh, I think we've also improved. So, Carlos Correa is a new Brave. Also brought in Henderson Alvarez. We brought in Trevor Blows Them All. He's in AAA right now for some odd reason. We'll call him up for sure at some point. 
Um, we also have a few new players out of the team. We're just going to go straight uh, into the prospects that we have. We have now Vlad Guerrero Jr. We've traded some of our starting pitchers away. I get that. We brought in Eloy Jimenez. We brought in uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. We brought in a really good young group of guys. He's only 19 years old. We got Eloy Jimenez, only 21. Kyle Wright, 22. Vlad Guerrero Jr., only 19. Luis Gohara, 21. Ronald Acuna, 20. We've got a really good group of players. And, um... Should be pretty good. Here's what I'm going to do to end the episode. Because uh, this, I think, was a pretty effective first episode. I'm going to simulate to our first series where we will be taking on the New York Mets. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate through that date. I'm going to let the CPU fix the rotation. And this is a team that will, uh... This will lose a few games. Let me tell you. All right, so currently on the season, we are 4-14, four and 14, about to play the 4-14 four and 14 Mets. Our roster is looking like this. Um, Trevor Rosenthal is now up with the team. Um, a lot of these players have not been called up yet. It looks like Kyle Wright has been. How do I check? I have no idea. I really don't. I, I need to figure out how to work this. Freddie Freeman's cold. Don't like to see that. Um, but these are all the players that are up here. Carlos Correa, down to an 85. I don't know where he's decreasing or anything like that. Um, Acuna down to a 72. I guess he's with the Braves now. He's been called up. I definitely didn't do it. Let me check the stats before we uh, before we get out of here. Let's see what my players are hitting. So, these guys, I guess... Is this with the Braves? How do I know? I have no idea who this is with. It's sorting by games, but games with the Braves or games with my uh, my prospects? I have no idea. I don't even have a clue. I'm with oh, I'm with the Stripers right now. How the fuck? Oh, right stick. Okay, that shit was confusing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, can I not see average? There we go. Freddie Freeman not hitting that well. Carlos Correa 333. Acuna hitting 167. Only 12 at bats, so that's going to go up eventually. Um, should be interesting. This is the current lineup we have going on. And Acuna is coming off the bench. Mm, do I want that to happen? We're going to throw Acuna right in there. He's going to hit fifth. I like that. Nick Markakis leading off is a disaster. I'm going to go... Here, what do I do even? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play Charlie Culberson as a utility guy. I can probably play him. Can't even play him in the outfield, so that's not going to work. I was kind of looking for an outfielder. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... Markakis can lead off. That's fine. Then Albies, Correa. No, 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 no. I've made mistakes. Carlos Correa will bat three and then it'll be Acuna mm. let's get a yeah I think I want to do that I think I want to do this Lane Adams is going to slide down we're going to play Johan Camargo at the six and then the bottom of our lineup kind of sucks it is what it is you know Burgos is at least a good fielder this is our lineup it's not great it is what it is. All right, I'm, I'm money. That's going to do it for the episode. Kind of a weird episode. I know many of you probably won't love it. Um, it is what it is, though. We're going to build up through the draft. We're going to say we're going to make them a little bit worse and then hopefully get better over the long term. We have some really good prospects. Hopefully they should be able to uh, do their thing. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit don't run well. It's fine now.